Coach, I'm going to put you on the spot right now. Let's take it by position. We know you love your defensive linemen. What do Michael Clemens and Jermaine Johnson bring to the table as far as your rotation up front? Uh, for sure, they, they bring violence. Uh, they play their absolute tails off. Um, and the, I mean, that's, those are the two common denominators in terms of what they bring from a, from a, a strain, competitiveness, uh, violence. They're, they're long, they're big. Um, and then obviously from a pass rush standpoint with Jermaine, he's got, he's got a, a tremendous repertoire with regards to pass rush. And uh, with Michael, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll add to it, but his, I mean, he, he, his violence level is pretty high when it's on the football field. So it's gonna be fun to watch him play. Something, we'll get pads on anyway. <laughs> something that always struck me uh, with you is you always said, with, in terms of cornerback, people always label your system and say, well, you play a lot of zone back there. And you said, you have to win in man, especially on third down. Amat's Oz Gardner fits the bill, doesn't he? Oh, yeah. And, and I think if you look an analytically, we, we call a lot of man coverage. People, uh, but we are zone based. Uh, we keep things in front of us. But when it's, it's time to go win, we play man. Everyone knows that. And um, uh, Ahmad does it all. Uh, DJ Reed does it all. Bryce Hall's been really good. Michael Carter, Eccles was really good last year too. So uh, adding Whitehead, getting um, um, Lamarcus Joyner back, and still having and all the reps that Ashen got last year, Pinnock, like it, it is a really, really cool secondary. And it, it happened pretty quick. One, because of all the work that those guys put in last year, and two, because of the, the additions that we've made. So uh, really excited about that back end and their ability to compete and feed off one another and continue to build and get better. Let's flip it to the offensive side of the ball. How about the playmakers you guys added? Wide receiver Garrett Wilson and his versatility. And speaking of versatility, how about Brees Hall? Oh, yeah. Um, you know, we, we talked about wanting to add guys who can uh, take it 80. You know, just uh, it, it is hard. It is hard to continually have to churn out eight, nine, ten play drives to score points. You need to be able to score within two or three plays. And uh, Elijah has that uh, ability. Michael Carter has that ability. Add in Azuma and Conklin, and uh, Uzuma and Conklin, and uh, and then the two draft picks with um, uh, Brees Hall and uh, uh, Garrett Wilson. Same thing. They're home run hitters. Corey, I mean, he can take it. So we've got we've got some weapons. Um, and now it's just a matter of continuity, building together, understanding how to play off one another. Uh, quarterback making his improvements, which he has. He looks fantastic. So. Uh, it's a really cool, very, very young group, and uh, it's going to be fun to watch those guys grow. And real quickly, let's end with the tight end position, how much you guys have improved there. You add Jeremy Ruckert, a person that you coached up down in Mobile, and then Max Mitchell, another guy, interesting prospect, a tall kid who's putting on weight. Yeah, he's, you know, Max isn't, uh, he, he's, he's not a finished product. Um, but, but at the same time, we think he's got a chance to be pretty darn cool, especially with how athletic and how, uh, how much versatility he has to be able to swing uh, left to right. And uh, uh, as he continues to develop, to develop he's, he's going to be a really, he's going to be, he's going to have a very long career. Um, as far as uh, Jeremy's concerned, he's, he is a bulldog in the run game, uh, nasty mentality. He is tough and he's actually got more in the past game than people realize. And, uh, and we're really excited to get him here and uh, uh, give him a chance to showcase it. Great weekend for you guys. I know you got to go work the phones and talk to some of those priority undrafted free agents. Oh, yeah, we got a lot of joy. We got three rounds of uh, of working to do, so we're excited to go and then uh, talk to them. a lot of a lot of undrafted free agents. Make it, so it's uh, it's gonna be a fun to, to see which ones we can get. Thanks, coach. Thank you.